Greetings, my name is Elias Vic and welcome to the channel. Here are my top 5 visual tips and tricks in Unreal Engine 4. The best and the most simple tip of them all is that if you press the L key on the keyboard and click somewhere in the viewport, you can add a point light. I know that this may be very basic, but I thought of covering it for those who have missed it. There are something called IES light profiles and they look something like this. What these light profiles allow you to do is to make your lights look even more dramatic in your game. What you do is to apply an IES light profile in the light profiles category when your light is selected. You can either download or create your own light profiles. There will be a link in the description to the Unreal Engine 4 IES light profiles documentation if you feel that you want some more information. If you haven't worked in Unreal Engine 4 for too long, then you probably don't know about light functions. Light functions are awesome ways of adding, well, functions to your lights. For example, if you want to add a flickering light or add textures to your lights, then the light functions are the way to go. I will also link a documentation to that in the description below. Here is an example of what a light function can do. So when we talk about lights, we also need to talk about shadows. If you're creating a project and you find that your light quality isn't showing that well on your models, then you could have to do with a couple of things. First of all, make sure that your light map is created correctly and assigned to be used as your light map. If that doesn't help, it could have to do with your light map resolution being too low. You can increase this by selecting your model and under the light category in the details panel, check the overridden light map res. Increasing this number will increase the quality of your shadows. Here is an example of that. So the last tip that I have is for those who are working on architectural renderings. In order for your scene to get those really good looking lights and shadows, we need to tweak some of the standard light settings. So let me show you how you can do that. Go into the window tab in the top left corner and select world settings. This should open up a new tab and in this tab you want to go down to the light mass settings menu and expand the light mass settings. You can mouse over these sliders or the text to get more information about what you can tweak in here. I recommend checking out the visualization rendering link in the description for more information about this. There are so many things you can cover about lights and we have just scratched the surface of it. I hope that some of these tips and tricks were helpful. Have a great day and don't be afraid of turning off the lights at night.